Hey y'all, it's your girl Chiha Gaditi and I'm back with another one. Today we're getting into a delectable, appetizing, scrumptious, flavorful recipe for preserved lemons and sugar. With this recipe, you'll not only get preserved lemons, but you'll also get a sweet and citrusy syrup. The preserved lemons and lemon syrup can be used for all sorts of fun and creative dishes and beverages like teas, salad dressings, hummus, flavored ice cubes, lemonade, and so much more. Now, if that last one sounds good to you, be sure to check out my next video, a blueberry lemonade recipe that is so refreshing and yummy, you'll wanna make it all summer long. Okay, time to prep. First, let's prep our jar. Because we're preserving these lemons, we wanna make sure that everything is thoroughly sterilized. So in addition to washing our jar, we're also going to boil it. While we're waiting for the water to boil, we're gonna start warming our jar up under the tap. This helps prevent thermal shock, which can make the jar crack due to the sudden change in temperature. So starting with warm water and then increasing to hot water, we're gonna run our jar under the tap for about one minute. Once your water reaches a full boil, we'll place the heat on low and gently place our jar and lid inside. It is so, 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 so important to use a heat res resistant jar for this process. For real, y'all, do not try to cut corners here and end up hurting yourself or someone else. After we place the jar inside, we're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes. So now that all of our prep work and cleaning is done, let's dive into this recipe. We're gonna start by cutting the ends off of each lemon. Okay, next up, I'm going to slice these lemons very, very thinly. And as I go, I'm just gonna remove any seeds that I come across to make sure that they don't end up in our final product. All right, so with our lemons all sliced up, we're gonna go ahead and start filling our jar. You can see I tried to cut my lemons as uniformly as possible. You wanna aim for about this thickness um, or even thinner if you can get it there. To fill the jar, we're gonna first sprinkle the bottom with buku white sugar, about this much. One day I might try making this recipe with brown sugar. I feel like it would give it a nice different taste. But for today we're using white sugar. I'll go ahead and start adding in my slices one at a time, making sure to completely coat each one in sugar as I add it into the jar. Okay, here we have it. All of our lemon slices have been coated and placed into our jar. I pressed down on the lemons just to release some of that lemon juice and you can see it here at the bottom. We are almost done. Now we're just gonna go ahead and close it up. Make sure you close it tightly. And I'm gonna just use these little stickies and a Sharpie to note today's date. It's important to keep track of the date so you have an idea of when your lemons will be ready. We'll leave these to ferment for about three to four days and once they're ready, I'm gonna make some blueberry lemonade using my preserved lemons and syrup. And you can check that out in my next video.